So we had a Genia Tech here at uh, CES 2012. You have Android 4.0 on the box. On uh, the set the box. So what do you call it? Yeah, Android TV, HB 510. HB 510 is a new one? Or it's is a new one. New one. It's a new one. Uh, with uh, Android 4.0, and that is uh, we also call the uh, ice cream sandwich. Nice. So this is a full ice cream sandwich. Uh, it's just a preliminary version. Yeah. It's a rush version for CES. So you rushed uh, before CES yes. to get it done. Yes. Like uh, as soon as the source code came out. Yeah. Our guys and the chipset vendors work together to make this done. Nice. So. How fa is it faster now? Or yeah, what, what, it will uh, be faster. It's very, it's obviously uh, that we can see uh, the web kit uh, uh, from Android 4.0 is optimized. It's much faster than before. Nice. So this is a single core Cortex A9, no? Yes. Uh, right now I can say yes. You can say yes. Yes. Which one is it? It's through Amlogic. Amlogic. Uh, how much RAM do you use? Uh, five twelve. Megabyte. And uh, RAM? Is there RAM inside? The RAM is a two gigabyte. Two gigabyte? Yeah. And then you can expand with a USB hard disk. Yeah. USB uh, micro SD. Yeah, micro SD. And uh, and the only HDMI output, and uh, another Ethernet, another USB port. Nice. Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi inside. Inside. Yeah. You can see uh, it runs pretty fast. So what is this remote? This remote is a brand new remote, uh, slim and uh, small, simple and elegant. And good price? <laughs> um, cannot say good price of, uh, compared with the infrared remote, but it's a good price compared compare with the other uh, RF remote. So RF uh, with this adapter here? Yeah. All right. And what's going on? Is it uh, with the uh, motion sensing? Yeah, it's motion sensing. And the uh, uh, volume keys here. And uh, you can see here. Here you can see uh, the, the Android version. So. so nice. Last year. The latest day of last year. We just uh, make it done. So it's like uh, less than two weeks ago. <laughs> yes. It's fresh. <laughs> Instead of a party uh, for New Year's Eve, you work on this, mm -hmm. like a uh, New Year's Eve yep. firmware. Everybody uh, very happy is 4.0, yeah. maybe a 40% uh, bonus, more, more, bonus more than last year, <laughs> kidding. And uh, all the video formats, everything works? I, uh, that is the advantage of Amalogic chipset. So 60p or 30p? Uh, can reach 60p. 60p, I'm 1080p, missing. 60 frames per second. Yes, that is. Uh, that's what I say is uh, capable for 3D, 3D video. Yeah, and H.264 high profile. High profile. Every video, every audio. Uh, not cannot say every video, but uh, the most popular high definition uh, video is uh, supported. Which one is not? Uh, which one is not? Uh, is very particularly for for example. Uh, some WMV very uh, weird uh, encoding. Uh, weird encoding. Yeah. I, I, I cannot remember the list, but uh, yeah. for sure some video cannot support All it. the popular is fine. Uh, popular is popular fine. format, yeah. yeah. Alright, so can you say something about what you want to do with the price? <laughs> with the MOQ 1000, do you want to say? Uh, this the device is not decided yet, but uh, it, it will be a surprising uh, price. Surprising price? Uh, anyone can guess? And uh, I can guess. Anybody can guess. <laughs> and uh, maybe I don't know. I'm just gonna guess. Okay. I'm not gonna guess. Should I guess? Can I guess? Yeah, please. Fif Fifty to a hundred between. Uh, that is a little bit low, but uh, okay. It's the affordable. Is, uh, yeah. Yeah. And so, what happens if uh, when the Google TV software is open source? Very, very good question. Yeah. Uh, the Google TV 2.0. I mean, the second generation Google TV is there, it's good, and uh, uh, hope this version is much better than last version since they already changed the CPU from the Intel to ARM. So we are happy that uh, for the ARM uh, ecosystem, 
that uh, Google TV can run and they have a SDK open, then uh, any, uh, uh, any customer, uh, if they want to put the Google TV on this box, is uh, possible. Not like a Google TV first generation okay. is impossible. But uh, apart from the Google TV, that uh, the film, uh, the TV searching engine there, uh, and the market there, still we can find some other applications that is uh, that can be done on this box. So it's uh, apart from Google TV, we still have other uh, capability for other applications. So when do you think the source code will be released? They already released. Google TV? Yes. Source code is uh, open. Uh, uh, SDK. SDK. How about source? Uh, you need it, no? Uh, not, not released yet. Because uh, th this morning I, I went to there, I got uh, the information that the SDK is already released. All right. So source code later, maybe next month, maybe two months. We have to wait. Yeah, we have to wait. And uh, do you agree that now that it's ARM, Google TV, now it's going to be successful? It's going to be very big. Uh, I, I hope. I hope. You hope? What are you yeah. So what is the difference between the Amlogic and the, let's say, the Marvel 1500 or the MediaTek for Google TV or the LG for Google TV? Is it performance is going to be good, good enough? Uh, the, the, the Marvel chipset, they, they have uh, HDMI input and the, the, this generation from uh, Amlogic yeah? uh, doesn't have uh, this feature. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm quite sure uh, in uh, Q, Q2, before Q2, that we can get something uh, uh, add for this box with the HDMI input. Is it going to be a USB host or new box? Uh, it's a new box. Yeah, with HDMI input. But uh, people who don't need HDMI input, Still they, they, can they should be able to use that. And it should be with Google TV UI. Uh, we have two options. One option is still we can maintain uh, this generation for the entry level, and yeah. another uh, another generation is with the HDMI input with the dual core from M Logic, and can do better things and even can porting the Google TV on that. Nice. So there will be a dual core M Logic. Yes, sure. Do you have announced? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Very soon. M Logic is doing good work, huh? So far, so good. Where are they based? Uh, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley? Yeah. And uh, they're good partners? Yeah. Yeah? They help? Help out? Yeah, yeah, yeah? sure. Or you help them? Uh, both. Both ways? That's his partnership, right? Yeah. And so, just these boxes over there, just to have an idea. Ice cream sandwich on everything? Uh, no, no. Uh, the old stuff, uh, still we are running uh, uh, 2.3. And 2.3. Might upgrade or? And the, the policy is not decide, uh, decided yet. Okay. Depends on testing and all that? Yeah. yeah. Many efforts, you know. Many efforts, yeah. It's huge work, right? <laughs> and all these, uh, you make these design remotes, remote designs? Yes. Nice. Cool. And this powerful remote, it looks particular, but this remote is really powerful. It's a quad, has a quad key and it has a um, uh, wireless mouse and it has a, a infrared learning functionality. This remote. Nice. And uh, this is your design? Yes. And so how many boxes do you sell on the market? Yeah. The secret? <laughs> yeah, it's confidential. Confidential? Uh, Quite good number. When can people hope to get this in Europe and USA, the ice cream sandwich box? Uh, in March. March. Yeah. Cool.